Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. Dealing with a mess of electronics cables is just a fact of life here on Earth, and it turns out it's no different in space. The Expedition 42 crew started routing a number of power and data cables inside the station to prepare for three upcoming spacewalks by NASA's Butch Wilmore and Terry Virts. The two will be heading outside in late February to ready the station for new docking adapters that will be used by U.S. commercial spacecraft slated to start bringing up astronauts in 2017. And the station crew wrapped up one experiment on orbit that some unlucky people have personal experience with. Micro 5 aims to better understand the risks of infections in space explorers on long missions. The experiment studies groups of roundworms infected with salmonella, the common cause for food poisoning. Learning how the worms and salmonella react together in microgravity provides a ground floor to start developing vaccines and other new methods for treating infectious diseases for people in space and down here on Earth. And this week, Hardy B asked us, how long would it take to completely refill the station with air? Well, it takes a lot of gas to keep the enormous interior of the station feeling like you're back down here on Earth. Right now, there's about 2,100 pounds of air inside the station, enough to pressurize it to 14.7 PSI, the same pressure we feel at sea level. Hypothetically, if the station was at vacuum or zero PSI, our equipment would take almost five days to pressurize it. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.